With the choices, like we have our pathway, and so we go in and say we have to show mastery of a specific target. Then we have to, we have like maybe three or four choices, and if we say it, they're all about building hands-on, and you want to do something on the computer or something written, and so you can go up, you can go up to your teacher and be like, "Sorry, I'm not really the hands-on or creative person. Can I maybe do this?" and that'll show mastery, and you can tell them how it will show mastery of this in the same way. The way that it's designed is uh, for those particular DOK3 activities, we'll just go with there, um, is they have a performance indicator and it might ask them to develop an experiment or design an experiment um, to prove something. So they have the freedom and the flexibility to design whatever experiment that it is. Um, while still falling under those guidelines that they're required to show for mastery. In social studies, we were working on environmental issues and our teacher signed us that we had to do two different kinds of ways to show how we learned about environmental issues in the United Kingdom and Chernobyl and all of that kind of stuff. So she gave us like different little things we could do, but we could have also asked her if we wanted, like what we wanted to do. So I did a, like I did a diary entry for Chernobyl, and then I also did a newsletter for acid rain in Germany. But we got to choose those; she didn't assign them to us.